Live from 1060 Catholic Radio's remote studios here in the Boston area, we welcome you to our special broadcast of the 2014 Fall Fun Drive, Building a Community of Saints. I'm Scott Landry, and I'm so pleased to be with you again here on your Catholic Radio station, 1060 AM WQOM. This hour... And for this entire week, our twice-annual on-air campaign, we're trying to earn your support. It's so important uh, to the station's future that many, many of our listeners become benefactors, become financial supporters, become people who are part of the financial success of the station. And what does that mean, the financial success of the station, that we're able to keep Catholic radio programming on the air 24-7 times 365 days, and that we're also able to grow the station so that it reaches many, many more people. If this is a successful campaign because of your help today, and this is the last day of this campaign, so we've been listening to Catholic radio for this week or for four years as of tomorrow, and you haven't yet made a contribution during this fund drive, we ask you from the bottom of our hearts to yours to make a gift according to your means. This campaign raises the operating expenses for the next six months until our spring fund drive so that we'll be able to lease our transmission tower, that we're able to provide electricity to that transmitter, that we're able to buy more of those bumper stickers and magnets that you can put on your car, that we're able to continue to send you the newsletter, operate a website, and do so much more. So please help us during this fund drive. If you'd like to give during this hour, the number is 877 877- 711-8500. You can donate online through our Boston website, 1060catholic.org. You can always donate on the iCatholic Radio mobile app, which you can take Catholic Radio with you in your pocket wherever you go, or you can mail your gift to 1060 Catholic Radio, 350 Massachusetts Ave, number 145, Arlington, Mass, 02474. And that address is on our website, 1060catholic.org, if I'm speaking too quickly for you to write it down. Again, I'm Scott Landry. I'm one of the initiators here of Catholic Radio in the Archdiocese of Boston when I was working at the Archdiocese as Cardinal Sean's point person for Catholic media. And tomorrow, the Feast of All Saints Day, is our actual four-year anniversary of Catholic Radio. So ten years ago, if we just uh, you know, f- uh, f- uh, rewind ten years, Catholic Radio was just a hope and a dream for so many of us in Massachusetts. As Catholic Radio was growing from five stations up to about 150 in 2009 across the country. Many of us who knew of the presence of Catholic Radio in places we traveled, were really hoping and praying that it would come here to Boston. And when I became part of Cardinal O'Malley's uh, cabinet at the Archdiocese of Boston in 2006, he did share with me at that point that one of his biggest hopes for renewal of the church in our area was to strengthen all of our evangelization programs. And uh, chief among them was the addition of a Catholic radio station. He wanted to continue with the Catholic television network and strengthen that. He wanted to strengthen the pilot, America's oldest Catholic newspaper. But he knew we needed to uh, put out into the deep uh, on new and social media websites and blogs like his Cardinal Sean's blog.org, Facebook and Twitter, But he really knew that faith comes through hearing and that Catholic radio would be a tremendous medium to be able to uh, meet people where they're at, whether they're in their cars, in their kitchens, in their workplaces, uh, on the go with a mobile app so they can continue to grow in faith, learn more about the faith, model themselves after some of the great disciples that are the guests on all these programs on your Catholic radio station. So please help us grow Catholic radio, 877-711-8500. Thanks be to God, since four years ago tomorrow, we now have a Catholic radio station, one that is 50,000 watts during the day, the biggest we can do it on AM radio, which allows us to reach over 5.5 million people each day across our area. Everybody who was involved in establishing that 1060 Catholic Radio back in 2010 set the goal to have the station up and running by All Saints Day of 2010. You might wonder why All Saints Day? 
Well, we knew that Catholic Radio could be a huge help in our daily journey to become saints. And what, what does that mean? To become the, the person that God uniquely and lovingly created each of us to be. We're all a unique creation of God. We each have uh, a, you know, a unique co combination of strengths and skills and interests that can be used to build up the church, his, the, the, the family of faith, uh, that we call ourselves, but also uh, to try to transform the culture to make it truly a, city, a civilization of love. So we knew that Catholic Radio could be a huge help in that daily journey to become saints, and we wanted to launch the station in one of the country's biggest cities, but we knew when we did that it would be a risk. It was a risk financially for Jim and Joanne Wright uh, to, to take out mortgages so that we in Boston could have a Catholic Radio station. We knew to survive that it would take Catholics like you and me, all those who are listening today, to want to step up and to help and keep Catholic Radio on. But the only way this was going to survive was that people were going to get involved. They were going to get involved as listeners, as those that promote awareness of the station to others, uh, as volunteers, and certainly as financial contributors. Our budget here at 1060 Catholic is just over $400,000 a year. Half of that, or slightly more than half, goes to just leasing our transmission towers to, and powering those towers so that we can get you the signal. And so many of the other costs are little costs of just running an organization like this and, and communicating with those who are connected, like with the newsletter. So thanks if, uh, for however many times you've given thus far to Catholic Radio. We're so grateful you tune in to Catholic Radio to grow in your faith. But we ask you, if you haven't given during this fund drive, please give today, our last day of the fund drive. And I'd be honored if you gave during this hour. And we have a very special gift for those that give during this hour. Uh, you'll, we'll be joined in a moment uh, by one of my favorite people in the entire world, my son Christian, our oldest. He's 12 years old. He is a seventh grader at St. Paul's Choir School in Harvard Square. And they've come out with their first international CD. It's actually up to number two on the Billboard charts in the classical area, I think. And it's number two on the Amazon.com uh, track, whatever uh, list that they're on on Amazon.com. So the CD is, has been doing very, very well since it came out on October 7th. The CD is entitled Christmas in Harvard Square. And if you make a gift of more than $530 today, that's half of our signal, 1060, so $530 or more, Christian's going to get uh, his entire seventh grade class uh, to sign the CD, and then we'll get it out to you as a special gift for listening during this hour and hearing Christian. So I hope. Uh, that Christian and his seventh grade friends will be very busy with the Sharpie uh, signing CDs for you. So that gift is beyond, above and beyond all the other gifts that you could get for giving uh, to the fun drive this hour. But it'd be this is a special CD. It'll be passed on. I'm convinced uh, from generation to generation. It's classic Christian uh, Christmas music, and way better than Frosty the Snowman and all those other types of Christmas music that you'll hear on the radio so you'll want to we'll play a few clips during this hour and i'm sure you'll want that and you can get that signed there aren't uh signed cds yet i think of uh any of the boys signing the cds so and who knows if there'll be others so you could be uh, one of the very special recipients of a signed CD by the 7th graders at St. Paul's Choir School. So we can grow Catholic Radio so much more, to, ha to have so much more of an impact on our area to help all of us grow as disciples, to grow in our knowledge of the faith, our love of the faith, and to help us live the faith more actively. So we're uh, thrilled that you're with us. We ask for your help this hour. If you want to give, the number is 877 8500. You can donate on our website, 1060catholic.org. You can always donate on the iCatholic Radio mobile app. If you don't have the mobile app, it's free to download uh, from your Apple iTunes store or your Google Play store for Android 
devices. It's a great thing to have. You can listen to this signal wherever you are. And it's been amazing. I think we have uh, gifts to this fund drive from 27 or 28 states. And most of those folks outside of New York, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island are most likely listening on the iCatholic Radio mobile app. So if there's anybody listening on the app right now, know that through that app you can uh, donate uh, to the to support the fund drive and you can always mail your gifts to our local address 1060 catholic radio 350 massachusetts ave number 145 arlington mass 02474 so joining me now in our studio uh, he was on maybe four years ago to do a little introduction in one of the shows we had back in the braintree studios but christian landry seventh grade at St. Paul's Choir School. Uh, welcome to 1060 Catholic Radio. Thanks for having me. So, Christian, you and your uh, cl- friends and classmates at St. Paul's School just uh, recorded this CD. You actually recorded it in May, but it came out October the 7th. It's called Christmas in Harvard Square. Tell us about what it was like for you not to just prepare to sing at the 11 a.m. Mass on Sundays or the Daily Mass at St. Paul's, but to actually prepare to record a CD. Well, it took a lot of hard work, and it was really nerve-wracking when we got onto the recording. But once we finished the recording, it turned out to be a masterpiece, and I don't think that we could have done it any better. So you, uh, the producer of the CD, is a Grammy Award-winning classical uh, music producer. His name is uh, Blanton Allspa. What was it like to work with one of the best in the industry? You work with one of the best musical instructors, uh, I think, worldwide in John Robinson at the choir school. But to work with a producer giving you guys advice on how to make your voices sound tremendously uh, great on the CD Christmas in Harvard Square. Well, he gave us a lot of great tips, as you said, and just working with him was was an honor. Um, It was just amazing to hear all the advice coming from a Grammy-winning producer. I mean, I don't think a lot of people can say that they've worked with a producer, let alone a Grammy-winning one. So it was a complete honor, and he gave us a lot of great tips that we still use even today. So there are 19 tracks on the CD, Christmas in Harvard Square, from the Boys of St. Paul's Choir School. Uh, Were these 19 songs uh, things that you sang at the Christmas concerts, or were there some new ones on the CD that you had to learn in the middle of May, Christmas hymns and Christmas songs, uh, so that you could sing it on the CD? Well, we sang a lot of them during the Christmas season last year, but we had to learn a lot of new songs, especially just boy songs. Um, But it's really strange trying to sing Christmas music in the middle of May. So some of these Christmas songs, uh, Christian, on the CD, uh, they are some of the most famous Christmas hymns of all time. Some are likely ones that uh, Catholics, unless they're music aficionados, wouldn't have heard. So tell us about some of uh, the more famous ones that are on the CD. Well, we have a lot of the well-known ones, such as O Come All Ye Faithful, Hark There, Old Angels Sing, um, and we have a lot of others, too. So tell us some of the favorite ones. You you actually sing some solos on the CD. There are, there are about 20. How many boys that sang on the CD? About 20? Uh, I would say about 15. Okay, so about 15 and f- maybe five or six of you had solos. Is that about right? Yep. And so tell us about the what it's like not only to sing as part of a choir on a CD, but to know that you're going to be able to sing a solo and then people the world over will be able to hear it. It's a complete honor, and it was really, I was really nervous when I was doing my my solos, and, but once you got, you got done with it, and you heard it for yourself, it was just really amazing to hear that, oh my gosh, that's your voice. So, uh, Scott Landry here on the special broadcast on 1060 AM WQOM, your Catholic radio station. 
We want you to know that my son, Christian Landry, is representing St. Paul's Choir School in his seventh grade class on our broadcast today, talking about the new CD that just came out from, uh, the, by the boys of St. Paul's Choir School. It's entitled Christmas in Harvard Square. It's doing great. It is the sort of thing that if you are looking for Christmas presents for somebody that has everything or somebody that just loves church music, this can make a wonderful gift. And we're hoping, as parents and all those involved in the school, that those of us in the local Boston area would uh, purchase our CDs early. That helps it get high on all these charts and uh, creates attention and, and publicity across the country so that more people will buy it and be exposed to the best Christmas hymns. So Christian uh, mentioned there are some uh, standard types of Christmas hymns, but they're sung like you've never heard them sung before on the CD Christmas in Harvard Square. One of them is Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and we're going to hear that in a moment. I'd like to remind everybody, if you give during this hour a gift of $530 or more, Christian's going to personally strong arm his entire seventh grade class to make sure that they sign the CD and we'll mail it out to you as a special gift over and above all the other gifts that the Station of the Cross will give you. So here is Hark the Herald's Angels Sing from the boys of St. Paul's Choir School. of St. Paul's Choir School off their CD Christmas in Harvard Square. Of course, 
That is the, the song, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And whether or not my son was on that, that is a beautiful rendition of that, that hymn we've sung so often in every parish across uh, this area. And it's wonderful uh, to hear what uh, this boys' choir school has been able to do with some of the best Christian and Christmas hymns of all time. Speaking of Christians, my son Christian Landry, 7th grader at the school, 12th. 12 years old, is with us here on 1060 AM Catholic Radio this morning, and Christian will get his entire 7th grade class uh, to sign the CD, and we'll mail it out to you. I'll mail it out to you if for any uh, person who contributes during this hour a gift of $530 or more. That's in addition to all the other gifts that you'll get uh, from the Station of the Cross. So please be generous this hour, um, and if you want to give this hour, the, the easiest ways to do that is to Call 877-711-8500. We really need your help uh, to close out the fund drive in a big way on our last day. Please do so. You can also donate online at 1060catholic.org or directly on the Station of the Cross's website, thestationofthecross.com. So, Christian, we just heard Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Um, in in this choir, you have, as you mentioned, about 15 boys that were part of the recording. There's also a men's scola at St. Paul's that are able to sing some of the other parts of, of these great uh, uh, hymns and songs and motets. I know you've got much more precise ways to describe uh, these this music than I do. But how many parts generally get sung in a, in a song like Hark the Herald Angels Sing? Well, usually it's about four parts on the regular verses. There's sopranos, which is the highest part, the melody. Then there's the altos, who sing kind of like a harmony to the sopranos. Then there are tenors and basses, who sing the really low parts. And so generally the guys are singing the tenors and the basses. Do, do the boys only sing soprano, or are some of the boys singing the alto parts too? No, actually all the boys sing the soprano part. And men who have incredible support in their vocal cords can sing just as high as any of the sopranos. But it's very rare, isn't it, for uh, the sopranos to be singing, which is why boys' choir school type music, because you're able to sing those soprano parts very well, are somewhat unique in their ability to perform some of the best songs of all time. Um, well... A lot of us can really sing high. Uh, me, as you can hear, my voice is kind of low. So I can't sing that high anymore, but we always bring in new boys so that the pitch can stay high. And we can sing all those high notes like you just heard on Hark the Herald Angels Sing. So St. Paul's Choir School is uh, 51 years old this year. It celebrated its 50th anniversary last year. One of its most famous graduates is now the Vicar General of the Archdiocese of Boston, Bishop P Peter Uglietto. There's also for those in uh, the St. Mary's Dedham area, your pastor, Father Bill Kelly, is a graduate of the school. And I'm, I'm sure that there are others uh, that are well known, but uh, there's a seminarian from the school, uh, Kevin Staley Joyce, who's over at the North American College in Rome. So the, 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 the folks who go to St. Paul's Choir School really get not only singing instruction and not only strong academics, but you go to Mass every day, you sing at Mass most of the times, you know, you have a couple of different choirs at the school, so you personally, Christian, don't sing every day. But how much, you know, how much have you grown to appreciate going to daily Mass? Well, I've gone to Mass every day since I arrived at the school two years ago in fifth grade, and I've just really enjoyed going to Mass. It makes me feel good, makes me feel holier than I was back in third grade or fourth grade when I was just going to Mass on Sunday. And it's helped me grow closer to God. Scott Landry and Christian Landry here on the special broadcast on your Catholic radio station, 1060 Catholic, 1060 AM WQOM. Our website is 1060catholic.org. Christian's my 12-year-old son, 7th grader at St. Paul's Choir School. We're talking with him about the new CD that came out uh, by his friends and classmates over at St. Paul's Choir School Christmas in Harvard Square. There's some wonderful videos and and profiles of the CD project that you can see at the website. 
website, stpaulchoirschool.com. I'll also tweet that, uh, the, the links out to some of the great videos uh, if you follow us on our Twitter account at 1060Catholic, or if you just want to go to a website, it's twitter.com slash 1060 Catholic and just a week ago uh, you were uh, your some of your classmates were interviewed for Raymond Arroyo's show the world over and they did such a great job and Raymond kind of horsed around with you guys a little bit Christian tell us uh, tell us about that well we did a skit with Raymond Arroyo and he was in our choir and dressed in choir robes and all just in red robes and surplices and all and he was trying to sing soprano. Mr. Robinson suddenly said, our director, something's gone a bit wrong. And he turned and looked at Mr. Arroyo, and he said, no, it's definitely not you. Is it you, Thomas, who's standing next to Mr. Arroyo? And he said, no, it was, it was this guy right here. And Mr. Robinson said, no, it's definitely you, Thomas get the tuning right so if you want to watch that video i'll tweet it out uh, twitter.com slash 1060 catholic or if you're on twitter just follow us at 1060 catholic i'd love you to take a look at that video it was quite funny but one of the better profiles of the school and there have been many video profiles over the past couple of years but raymond arroyo did a great job on the world over helping to make people aware of uh, this cd and the wonderful stuff being done at the only catholic boys choir school in the country, uh, which is located here in Cambridge in Harvard Square, uh, St. Paul's Choir School in Harvard Square. So the next song we're going to hear, Christian, is one that you do a solo on. Tell us about what The Little Road to Bethlehem is all about. So it's about this traveler just walking down a road in Bethlehem, and suddenly he hears a song being played, and it turns out that it's Mary singing a lullaby to Jesus so that he falls asleep. So we're going to hear The Little Road to Bethlehem by St. Paul's Choir School off their CD Christmas in Harvard Square in a moment. Again, if you give more than $530 this hour, uh, in addition to all the other gifts you'll get from the Station of the Cross for that gift, you'll also get a signed CD by the entire 7th grade class at St. Paul's Choir School, and I'll personally uh, mail it to you, and Christian will personally make sure that it gets signed. So here is The Little Road to Bethlehem.
is The Little Road to Bethlehem by the boys of St. Paul's Choir School off their CD Christmas in Harvard Square. That CD was released back on October the 7th. It's doing extremely well on the Billboard charts and the Amazon.com rankings. And Christian Landry, my seventh grade son, who's a student at the choir school, who uh, sang a solo on that song, that, that song, The Little Road to Bethlehem. Christian, what's it like for you at 12 years old uh, to know that some project that you participated in is doing well on the Billboard charts and on the Amazon.com sales ranking charts? Well, it's absolutely amazing. Um... I'm going absolutely crazy. I'm, In a good way. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not going all loopy in the head. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm really happy that it's doing really well. I mean, I'm, I'm in it, and it's going out to people nationwide and even worldwide. So, Christian, some of our listeners might be wondering uh, whether you were somebody that was singing when you were still in diapers growing up in this house and always wanted to go to a place like St. Pa- St. Paul's Choir School. Tell us tell us about uh, when you got the idea to go to the school and why. Well, I hadn't sung at all until I came to the school. So let's just be really clear. Yeah. You didn't even sing in church. I was no. always nudging you when we went to St. Agnes. You got to sing. And you weren't even singing these hymns in second and third grade when we went to St. Agnes's. Yeah, so I, I, was, I, did, I hated to sing. I mean, I, I didn't like music at my school. And so at my public school here... I was getting a bit bored by all the academics, so my dad introduced me to the choir school and he said, if it'll at least have good academics and I know some kids there that are athletic just like you. I said, all right, I'll go there, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like the singing. And you found pretty quickly that you enjoyed the singing, and because you ha- you never sang, you didn't have any bad habits to break, right? So you were able to progress pretty quickly. Yeah, so by the end of the fifth grade, I was one of the best singers in the choir. I don't want to be too arrogant. But that's mainly because you were confident to sing loud because Mr. Robinson tuned your voice well. Yeah, so I just really love to sing now and I don't imagine my life without being at the choir school. So you and your fellow students, uh, some of the students always knew that they wanted to go to school like this. You have a a friend who's in the grade uh, behind you in the sixth grade uh, who he and his family moved from Virginia up here because they were attracted that this was the only Catholic boys choir school in the country and they wanted their son to go there and he very much wanted to go. And then there are many folks in your in your situation where you uh, – you're not necessarily opposed to singing, but singing isn't the only reason you choose this school. But then when you get there and you're exposed to the excellent formation of uh, Mr. John Robinson, the music director, it's amazing. And I say this as a dad who's watched your development. It's amazing how quickly you became a confident chorister. Yeah, I I definitely grew in my confidence in singing. Um, I'm a lot better than I was in second and third grade. Um, and I just really like all the singing and all of the pieces that we do, especially on this Christmas album. So St. Paul's Choir School, is uh, uh, their admission schedule is open. If you'd want to schedule a tryout and a little bit of an entrance exam for your son or grandson, they admit boys in uh, going into the fourth grade or some going into the fifth grade like uh, Christian joined. Uh, you can find out more information about admissions at stpaulchoirschool.com. And Christian, would you recommend it to other boys? Oh, yeah, it's... It's a great program. I mean, the class sizes are so small that you really get to connect with the other boys. I love my class, and, I mean, we've all grown to be really good friends together. 
Scott Landry, along with my son, 7th grader Christian Landry, uh, for this special broadcast on 1060 AM, your Catholic radio station. This is during our Fall Fund Drive campaign, the campaign that hopes to raise six months of operating expenses to keep our signal going out to you as strongly as possible. During the winter, if you'd like to make a gift this hour, please do so at 877-711-8500. You can donate online through our website, 1060catholic.org. Just click on the red box on that home page and you'll be taken uh, to the uh, secure donation page to put in your credit or debit card information. So 877-711-8500. I'd like to thank Patricia from Stowe who was given this hour and I'll update my screen in a couple of minutes while we listen to the next song. But I... I really want to speak from my heart to you if you've been listening to Catholic Radio for a while and you haven't given yet uh, during this fund drive this week. Please consider this the time to give right now. We need your help. Uh, we need to not only raise those operating funds for the next six months, but we're hoping to raise a little bit above that so that we can bring a lot of new things uh, to your Catholic radio station to be able to reach more people through innovative marketing campaigns, to strengthen our signal, and then to produce local programs similar to this where we can learn about initiatives uh, in our area that you may want to get your son or grandson involved in like St. Paul's Choir School. So thanks for your support if you've already already given to the fund drive at some time this week if you are in that category thank you and there's one way you can help us today either if you're on facebook or twitter put out a message saying i was very thrilled to be able to support catholic radio's growth uh, i encourage you to do so uh, yourselves and then put a, a a link to the donation page or if you don't have facebook or twitter you're not left out of this if you have email send an email to all your catholic friends saying hey catholic radio is an adult education uh, for, uh, method 24 7 times 365 days a year i encourage you to listen but i encourage you to be able to support its growth not just for those who are engaged in the church but for all those we hope to reach because somebody for example uh, sets a preset in one of the rental cars over at logan airport and somebody who just arrives and rents it from any one of those companies uh, turns on the radio they might get struck by something they hear on your catholic radio station 1060 a.m wqom so if you want to call in your gift, it's 877-711-8500. As I've promised, as Christian has promised, for any gifts of more than $530 this hour, you will get a signed CD, uh, a Christmas in Harvard Square, by Christian's classmates in the seventh grade over at St. Paul's Choir School. So Christian, the next song uh, we're going to play off the CD is O Come All Ye Faithful, and that's one of the most famous uh, Christian hymns of all time time and that's what we're encouraging people to do on this fun drive oh come and pledge to us please at 877-711-8500 what do you like about singing oh come all ye faithful um i like singing all of the big christmas hymns i like all the tunes i like i like um all the desk can the part where we sing really high at the end and i really like just being able to sing it Again, for gifts of more than $530 this hour, you'll get a signed copy of Christmas in Harvard Square. If you can't afford $530 and you want to get a copy of the CD, you can do so at stpaulchoirschool.com or you can order those off of amazon.com also. And I'm sure copies of the CDs are in your Catholic and Christian bookstores now or they will soon be. So here, off the CD Christmas in Harvard Square, the boys of St. Paul Choir. Choir School singing, O Come, All Ye Faithful.
off the CD, Christmas in Harvard Square. Those are the boys of St. Paul's Choir School. And maybe you, like me, learned what a descant truly is in a hymn, uh, where they go extremely high on those beautiful songs, unlike anything that I've ever heard. And you can hear it live for anybody that is in the Boston area. You can uh, come to any of the St. Paul's Choir School Christmas concerts, which happen on most Saturdays or Sundays in December, Christian. Sundays. So Sundays in December, uh, most of them, there's one of the Christmas concerts. You can hear many of these songs live. It's a wonderful way uh, to get in the, the truly Christmas spirit, not the Frosty the Snowman Christmas tree sort of thing, um, you know, the secular version of Christmas, but truly uh, listening to these words, uh, letting uh, the singing of the boys and men of St. Paul's Choir uh, raise your thoughts to heaven and hear some truly uh, heavenly sounds uh, coming from this choir. So Christian Landry, my son, a seventh grader at St. Paul's Choir School, is with us for this special broadcast here on 1060 AM. Thanks to everybody who has been giving during this fun drive and during this hour. Uh, We encourage you, if you're in your cars or in your workplace or in your homes, if you haven't given yet to support 1060 Catholic Radio, please do this hour, 877-711-8500. The website is 1060 catholic.org if you want to find out more information about anything related to st paul's choir school you could do that at their website st paul choir school.com so even though we're a little bit in the christmas spirit listening to this CD Christmas in Harvard Square, Christian and most 7th graders and 6th graders and 5th graders and 4th graders are in the Halloween spirit today. But there's a special event going on tonight at St. Paul's Church, uh, the uh, Jesus in Harvard Square program that's uh, organized by the Office for the uh, New Evangelization at the Archdiocese of Boston is taking place at St. Paul's Choir School. Cardinal Sean always celebrates a vigil mass for all Saints Day, and it's taking place at your church, so that means instead of trick-or-treating around your neighborhood, you'll be singing for Cardinal Sean and all those gathered there. So what's that going to be like tonight, Christian? Well, it's kind of sad that I'm going to miss Halloween and all the Because you really like candy. Yeah, I really like candy. like waking up the next morning with a sugar buzz. <laughs> um, but it's really an honor to be with Cardinal Sean so often. And to be seeing for him tonight. So Cardinal Sean loves to joke that when he meets really young people, you know, three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, when he goes to visit parishes, and it's around Christmas time, that those young kids think that they ask their parents, is that Santa Claus over there because of Cardinal Sean's beard? So what are you going to be singing for Cardinal Sean tonight? Um, do you, There's a special music, I assume, for All Saints Day? Yeah, we're singing a lot of um, Renaissance music that have a lot to do with All Saints Day. One, O Quam Gloriosum, has to do with the saints all being up with God and rejoicing in heaven. So uh, that Mass tonight at St. Paul's Church is uh, open to everybody. You can get there on the red line or you can drive into Harvard Square, but sometimes that can be a little bit of an adventure. Uh, But there are plenty of meters around St. Paul's Church, uh, right on Mount Auburn Street, the intersection of Mount Auburn, Bow, and Arrow Street in Harvard Square. And Cardinal Sean will be celebrating that Mass. It starts at 730. You can hear uh, the boys of St. Paul's Choir School sing at that mass for more information on that it's at you could go to the archdiocesan website for the um the office for new evangelization which is one zero n e the number four boston.org one for boston.org uh, so during this fun drive show the special broadcast from your catholic radio station 1060 a.m wqom please make a gift this hour 877-711-8500 you can donate online 1060 catholic.org christian about two years ago when i told you and your younger sister and younger brother that i was going to be leaving my role at the archdiocese of boston and taking on a new role the first thing all three of you asked me was does does that mean you're not able to uh, do the radio show the good catholic life anymore and i said "Uh, well i hadn't made up that mind yet but you and your your siblings encouraged me to continue doing the show why 
Well, I just liked listening to my dad. I mean, it's pretty cool when you get to hear your dad on something public that everybody can hear. Um, I just shared it with all my friends, and I just found it really cool. And your sister said something that uh, hopefully I'll remember as I continue to age because it moved my heart. She said she has a really good friend who uh, was baptized Catholic, but her family doesn't take her to Mass. And Allie's friend would like to go to Mass, but it's just not as part of the family schedule. And Allie said, I love to be able to say to her, you should listen to 1060 AM at 4 PM. My dad's on the radio. She doesn't say what the, what the content is, hoping that her friend and her friend's family would listen in the car. And then that might spark them to come to church with us or to just go to church on their own. And it, it showed me the power of Catholic radio here in Boston, Catholic radio, wherever it is. We have this gift of Catholic radio. Perhaps some of you have heard Jerry Usher during in this fun drive, one of the several hosts of the fun drive shows across the network. Jerry say, Jerry says where he lives, there's not a Catholic radio station. And he goes and helps Catholic radio with their fun drives uh, throughout the country, including here in the Northeast. And Jerry and the, the Catholics around him are praying for a Catholic radio station to come. He doesn't want any of us to take it for granted what we have here. Please help us continue this important ministry uh, 877-711-8500 or online at 1060catholic.org. Christian, we're going to hear one more hymn before the end of the hour, and it's a it's another famous hymn, Angels We Have Heard on High. Tell us why you like singing this song with your friends and classmates at St. Paul's Choir School. Well, I really like saying the, fam the famous Gloria at the end, the really long one, and I just like singing the descant, the high part at the end as well. So if you give during this hour a gift of $530 or more, you'll get a personally signed copy of Christmas in Harvard uh, Square, this new CD by the boys of St. Paul's Choir School. Christian will strong arm his seventh graders uh, to make sure that they have good penmanship when they sign their names on the CD and get it out to you. Uh, you can donate 877-711-8500. Please donate before the end of this hour uh, when we hit 9 o'clock. But here from the boys of St. Paul's Choir School off their CD, Christmas in Harvard Square, this is Angels We Have Heard on High.
off their CD, Christmas in Harvard Square. That is the, those are the boys of St. Paul's Choir School, including my son, Christian Landry, who's with us in the studio today. Uh, you can hear those heavenly Christmas hymns and songs on their CD, Christmas in Harvard Square. You can order that if you want uh, off the, the school's website, stpaulchoirschool.com. Or, Christian, you have an interesting uh, announcement that you want to make and this is all your initiative, I promise. Tell us about that. Well, we've lowered it to $250. You get a signed copy of our Christmas album, Christmas in Harvard Square. So Christian's initiative is instead of $530 for anybody who gives $250 between now and let's say 9.05, so we'll give it about 10 minutes. We'd love it to come in during the 9 o'clock hour, but in case a number of people call at the same time, you know, over the next 10 minutes or so, if you give a gift from our listening area, 1060catholic.org on WQOM, uh, you'll receive a signed copy by the 7th grade of Christmas in Harvard Square from the boys of St. Paul's Choir School. It's so important, this campaign, uh, to continue to broadcast here on 1060 Catholic Radio. And as we approach our four-year anniversary tomorrow, the Feast of All Saints, I wanted to share with folks some things that Cardinal Sean said on that first broadcast uh, on All Saints Day of 2010. I'll share a little bit from his homily in a moment, but after the homily, there was a roundtable discussion that included uh, Jim and Joe. Joanne Wright, the founders of the Station of the Cross Radio Network, Michael Warsaw, the CEO of EWTN, Cardinal Sean O'Malley, and myself. And Cardinal Sean was asked the question, uh, why was this? Why was he so excited that day? And he said, for us, the Feast of All Saints is a special joy. Catholic Radio is something that we've desired for a long time for our area. Today is the realization of that dream. It's fitting that Catholic Radio begins on the Feast of All Saints so that we can ask our brothers and sisters in heaven for their intercession, that it will truly be a successful means of evangelization to help all people discover the presence of God in their lives and to instill in them a desire to be faithful disciples of the Lord. And then Cardinal Sean was asked, how do you see the station supporting all the work that you do as the Archbishop? And Cardinal Sean said, well, Catholic Radio is such a wonderful medium of evangelization because it reaches people at home, in the car, at work, at all hours of the day and night. So we have the opportunity to share the message of our church with people in all of these settings. For some, they have no other contact with our community of faith. I think it's an extraordinary blessing for us. I hope that it will be a source of grace in the lives of everyone who listens to the station how has it been this is me that we're stopping cardinal sean's quote how has it been a grace in your life if catholic radio has blessed you in any way or blessed those who are close to you in any way please give please support the ongoing broadcasts here the ongoing transmission of catholic radio programming 877-711-8500 or you can donate online at 1060catholic.org and cardinal sean said during his homily a few years ago at at the cathedral of the holy cross that we had so much to be thankful for uh, Jim and Joanne Wright, they began this ministry of the Station of the Cross now 15 years ago after visiting Mother Angelica's EWTN. And he asked everybody to pray for the sp spiritual success of the station, and he encouraged us to let it make God's word known and lead people to understand the Catholic faith and to rediscover the beauty of a life of faithful discipleship through the Catholic Church. So we only have two minutes uh, before the end of the hour, 877-711-8500 is the number. Please give, as Christian indicated, any gift of $250 or more will receive a signed copy of the CD that we've been hearing clips from today, uh, Christmas in Harvard Square, the Boys of St. Paul's Choir School. Christian, any final thoughts uh, as you conclude your first hour ever on the radio? Um. I would just love it if anybody gave over $250. I really want to sign some copies. You got your Sharpies ready to bring into yeah, school. Yeah, got them. 
Got them all uncapped, ready. And uh, we wish everybody a happy anniversary here on 1060 Catholic Radio. It's not just an anniversary that Jim Wright or Cardinal Sean or, or I will celebrate. It's a true celebration for all of us. Let us never take for granted the ability to grow in faith. Uh, when you think of uh, all the adult faith formation and the faith formation that younger, younger Catholics like Christian can get through Catholic Radio, what a tremendous blessing it is. It doesn't take too much money to operate a Catholic radio station, but it does take some, and we need everybody's help. Everybody that listens to Catholic radio, we ask you to make a contribution according to your means. We've had gifts anywhere from $5 up to $5,000 this week. Whatever you can give, we're super grateful, and we really, really appreciate everything you do uh, to spread the awareness of Catholic radio so that more people listen, and we ask if you've been listening uh, for more more than just a few days, uh, please consider making a small contribution to our station. As we approach the 9 a.m. hour, I'd like to remind everybody that you're listening to your Catholic radio station, 1060 a.m. WQOM, Natick, New England. I'm Scott Landry for Christian Landry. God bless you.